Here we go, Red Dead Redemption 1. There's John. There's a Ford. <laughs> John Marston. Bill Williamson. There's Agent Ross, the guy we love to hate. Rockstar San Diego. Blackwater Station. Get on the train, boy. Red Dead Redemption. Game is 13 years old. Well, I for Dan one Houser. am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land. But There's Bonnie. Gained access to Who's Bonnie sitting with? But Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. What I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like I animals. I don't know what he means by that. But they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels. There goes Bonnie, fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't <laughs> want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, uh. the John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Yes, it does. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. We will meet later. We will let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible. I can see why you'd be confused by him. Between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. 
But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Sam Hauser, Dan Hauser. Masterminds behind RDR. Sure. All right, let's to look around naturally. Rio Lobo. <laughs> I don't feel too good. And the sun is still up. The deadly assassin outfit. Looks like uncle, but it is not. You must be John Marsh. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Right on. Easy on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Whoa. Easy. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, okay. I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're it's gonna take a while to get used to these buttons. female company, you could do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Let's come back. So it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good meat! Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. 
<clears throat> Fort Mercer. Whoa, Whoa, yeah. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Bill Williamson. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. Yep. You always did think I was an idiot. Yep. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Okay. I implore I, I implores you to go <laughs> back and tell them to send someone just a little <laughs> bit more impressive next time. Well... Oh. <laughs> John, John, John. Poor John. Not a good plan. <laughs> and there's Bonnie again. That government boy. New friends, old problems. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. <laughs> Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. 
John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may okay. be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. Okay. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Yep. All right, so here we are. It says join Bonnie. I'm going to see if there's any. Nope. Nothing in the chest yet. <clears throat> join Bonnie. Figured it's yep. about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. All right. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Right? Hop on up. He won't bite. Come on, boy. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. All right. It take a while to get used to these controls. Right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Liquor. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Xbox controls are very foreign to me. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get Probably. such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Whoop. Bringing in all sorts Whoa. of people like yourself. Easy. I don't know what happened there. Hold B and let go of and the joystick. And here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. All right. You get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Well, are we going inside? Sure. How about a 
cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Here Will we go. Will you help go. me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. All right. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. <clears throat> Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Well, don't shoot me then. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I like the color and the stars. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Oh. All right. Come on, then. Time to put that blood lust in for good use. Good shot. You got one. What? You're a good shot, Mr. Marston. That rabbits didn't stand a chance. Just now three of them up. got away. Check out the rest of the ranch. All right. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. Gee up! If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never yep. easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Stop very good. Oh. Wow, getting stuck on everything. You handled yourself well. Oh. I thought we was going to lose some chickens for sure. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. All righty. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe there you Bill go. Williamson did get lucky after all. He did. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Whoa. Oops. Mr. Marston, makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. All right. This is my place. Yep. Extra ammo.
Okay, let's sleep and save and... Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to stop right there. We've got the uh, beginning of Red Dead Redemption 1 under our belt. And when we come back next time, we'll go see Bonnie. So I will see you in the next one of Red Dead Redemption 1.